Kenyatta University Teaching Referral and Research Hospital was established 10 years back and commissioned by His Excellency the President Uhuru Kenyatta on 10 September 2020 on a mission to enhance his legacy in provision of universal health care for all as stipulated in his four agendas. Ladies and gentlemen, there is no doubt that cancers and renal diseases are increasingly becoming a major health challenge in Kenya. And this facility is positioned as part of our national response to that emerging health nightmare for many of our families across the country. On the same day, he commissioned the construction of Integrated Molecular Imaging Center, IMIC, and the Hospitality Center, a world-class vision of future medicine by Professor Olive Mugenda, the pioneer and chairperson of the hospital. What we witness today with great joy and a sense of satisfaction, Your Excellency, is the achievement of the promise we made to you, sir, that you would deliver the project for Kenya within a year. I'm happy to report that the project has been completed largely in time, despite a few hitches, which caused a short delay. Your Excellency, the project has also been completed within the budget which you authorized. Distinguished guests, the integrated molecular imaging dream started some years back when I was heading Kenyatta University. The idea was to build up a capacity uh, for comprehensive cancer care center where the continuum of cancer care from prevention to palliative care was to be housed in one place. Our dream was realized when His Excellency the President visited the hospital just before we opened the doors in 2019. And without hesitation, graciously accepted that the government provides funding for the project as part of the government Big Four agenda and in line with the universal health coverage. Armed with a vision to transform how healthcare is administered in Kenya, KUTRRH was constructed as a specialized hospital where the best of the best caregivers would converge and give top-notch services. Apart from the state-of-the-art facility and equipment, KUTRRH is emerging as a powerhouse in advancement and deployment of future medicine right here in Kenya. Nuclear medicine, first of its kind in a public hospital facility in Kenya and the region. The introduction of molecular imaging center technology is a bold step in transforming the health and medical care as we know it. A lot of our people are spending huge quantities of money that runs in the billions uh, traveling outside this country so that uh, they can get treatment. The worst thing about it is that by the time our people are traveling, it is no cancer is normally at stage 3 or stage 4 and um, it is, they are not going there for detection, they are going there for treatment. Therefore, the idea is that uh, we address this matter comprehensively. KUTRRH Cancer Care Oncology Center has a 74-bed capacity and IMIC with the state-of-the-art equipment for diagnosis and treatment capabilities that are at par with leading hospitals elsewhere in the world. We intend that uh, Kenyatta University should be uh, offering specialized services, particularly in the area of oncology, we are very committed and very dedicated to ensure that we offer first-class service. The IMIC hosts a cyclotron, two PET CT scanners, a SPECT scanner, hot lab, brachytherapy and PET radiopharmacy equipment. The Integrated Molecular Imaging Center IMIC will be able to provide early precision diagnosis, possible management and treatment of cancer. Kenya and the region population look forward to KUTRRH being able to serve as a medical tourism hub, particularly for cancer patients that want to receive a world-class medical care. And this is a very key facility for Kenya and the region. The facility has very advanced equipment. Uh, some of this equipment include the cyclotron, 
The cyclotron machine is the one that produces the consumer boss called the isotopes that are used um, in the operation of the PET uh, CT scan. Just beside the IMIC, there is the KUTRRH Hospitality Center, which will cater for the accommodation and hospitality needs of patients and their families while at the hospital. And most importantly, ensure prompt access to radioisotopes that have short half-life at the IMIC. In addition to the IMIC Center, we, are, we call it the IMIC Center, we also have the Hospitality Center. This idea of a Hospitality Center came about because of the stories we hear about Kenyans when they go to India and other countries and they are looking for accommodation. And we decided to have a 100 bed accommodation for those patients and their families who will come seeking our services, maybe for a day or two, because these services don't need the patient to be hospitalized. Technology has come of age from X-rays, CT and MRI where radiation is conducted outside the body and which in its best sees the anatomy or the structure of the body. It has been noticed in our country that a lot of our patients present late, um, especially when they have oncology or cancer conditions and this has led to relatively uh, lower outcomes or poorer outcomes. And we hope that if we can be able to manage uh, the disease in terms of early diagnosis, we will increase the number of uh, Kenyans who survive or recover uh, from uh, cancer. In most modern molecular imaging technology, PET and SPECT radiation is conducted from inside the body. It will help us diagnose it early. And two, it will see even now when you've been caught with that disease at whatever stage it is, it's able to give more accurate information about exactly what is happening in your body, whether the treatment that you're getting is actually working. Molecular imaging technology brings precision diagnosis by offering pinpoint accuracy of the problem in the function of the body. Its advanced features can provide accurate evidence of disease earlier before symptoms manifest or occurrence of the same. It goes further to therapy and cure in some of the diseases such as lymphatic cancer. The introduction of the molecular imaging technology changes the way at which the caregivers approach a certain problem or a disease in the body. What works for others might not work for you. This technology is personalized and it is all about you, hence very effective outcomes are expected. Molecular imaging is painless, fast, timely, very accurate and non-invasive during diagnosis compared to other conventional methods. Basically my work is to uh, diagnose the cancer where uh, the clinicians are suspecting and then once it's diagnosed we will show the way to the clinicians like where exactly is the tumour and uh, how much is the impact it's causing on the person. This is something uh, very, called a very special examination, which is PET CT. And uh, once we get the FDG, it has to be injected. It is a radioactive material. It has to be injected under certain precaution to the patient. And once it's injected, the patient uh, stays there for like around 30 to 45 minutes of uptake time. So that uh, the medicine which they have injected goes to all parts of the body where uh, we are suspecting a cancer. And uh, once it is uh, localized, it starts emitting some radiations which will be picked by this scanner. While earlier methods used to see the structure of the body, molecular imaging sees the function and the metabolism of the body in real time. The process begins with administering molecular spies, also known as tracers, or in scientific terms, radioisotopes and radiopharmaceuticals created by cyclotron system for a particular purpose in the body. After injection, these tracers home into the affected area, accurately pinpointing, staining and mapping the disease or affected part of the body. When projected on a PET CT scanner, cancerous cells are highlighted and appear very bright on the monitor screens. At this level, cancer can be detected early, even before symptoms show up. The molecular imaging can be used to do other diagnoses like to accurately calculate the amount of blood in the body.
Myocardial perfusion imaging showing where blood is flowing well in the heart, blockages and clots. For a long time, cancer has been a thorn in the flesh of Kenya and the region. Cancer has registered a very high mortality rate, impoverished the single unit of the community while in search of health and medical care. Due to lack of advanced technology such as molecular imaging technology, lots of cancers have been discovered in stage 3 and 4 which are very difficult to treat. Molecular imaging delivers large amount of information about how your body works, being more responsive. It lets the doctor know sooner how the disease responds to the treatment and if you need a different medicine regime because time matters. The medical fees to do quality assurance to ensure that the scanning we do, we get the accurate image that's just adequate to do a diagnosis or rule out a diagnosis, but at the same, the same time limiting the radiation dose to the patients. We have a wide range of machi machines within the hospital, both for diagnostic purpose as well as, as well as therapeutic purpose. Many people have scrambled to India and other countries in Africa in search of treatment. With the introduction of IMIC, this is about to change. Cancer shall be discoverable or detected at its earliest stage. This will reduce the mortality rate to its lowest, enhance state and quality of life of the patients, stop medical tourism to India and other African countries such as South Africa. The technology shall be available to all Kenyans at an affordable rate with the help of NHIF and private insurance cover. On molecular imaging, it's for early detection of cancer. However, we will approach cancer from diagnosis to treatment. For diagnosis, the completed project includes an additional three Tesla MRI machine for diagnosis and an additional 256 Sly CT scan. In addition, the project has acquired a brachytherapy. Our facility has KUTRRH. Um, in terms of treatment, we offer both uh, radiotherapy, chemotherapy and surgery. In terms of radiotherapy, we have the most advanced machine to treat uh, cancers using radiotherapy called the linear accelerator or the LINAC machine. Additionally, we have recently got the brachytherapy machine which, is, which increases our scope of managing various types of cancers. We'll be able to be having a cyber knife which will be the first uh, cyber knife in Africa. The cyber knife machine will give us an additional uh, a momentum in the management of cancer because the cyber knife is able to treat cancers which are previously not capable of being treated using any of the other modalities. Kenyatta University Teaching and Research Hospital has raised its profile and capabilities in oncology by partnerships and collaborations. The hospital has signed a memorandum of understanding between the University of Manchester, the Christie Foundation in the United Kingdom towards the establishment of Cancer Research Centre and specialised training of its staff. The University of Manchester will help us set up a breast cancer centre of excellence in line with the breast cancer centre of excellence in Manchester, given the high prevalence of breast cancer disease in our country. The University of Manchester has given out six global fellowships, Your Excellency, to, see, to six experts coming from University of Manchester to this hospital to train our professionals and build capacity in various areas. On the same, KUTRRH is committed in building local capacities through continuous training, especially of doctors, nurses and supporting paramedic staff. See the future, it is opening up a new understanding of cancer, heart disease, neurological disease and other conditions with each composition and researchers better insights into human psychology. We are very thankful that uh, the government and particularly His Excellency the President approved this project and actually authorized the funding because when he understood the impact this is going to have on Kenyans, he had no uh, hesitation to approve the, the funding and we are happy to have done it in the last one year and is now ready for operations. Actually it's operational and we already have our patients lined up for the, for the services.
As I close, let me say that as a country, we will keep our focus on the reduction of cancer cases, while at the same time enhancing survivorship rates. I therefore look forward to seeing the continued growth of Kenyatta University Teaching, Referral and Research Hospital. We have agreed that we will be here in January for the Cyber Knife. Good. As well as other healthcare institutions across our country. And we urge them all to continue meeting our objective of ensuring that Kenyans have the best possible healthcare at the most affordable price.